Moving right along, our next step in painting the kitchen is going to be to cut in the wall area. We want to cut in the edges before we roll. So let me jump over my ladder and begin. Okay, we came a little bit over under the trim. We're using the same color paint for the trim and the walls, so it makes the job a little bit easier. I'm going to continue all the way across the ceiling. I'm applying a good healthy amount of paint to the surface and then just kind of pushing it right along the edge. It's important with the finishing strokes that we're evening out all the paint because we don't want the brush strokes to, to be visible after we roll. We're going to roll right into this. I'm not going to spend too much time with this trim here because since we're going to be using the same color on both the trim and the walls, I'm going to apply the paint right onto this with the roller and then I'll back brush it to get into the details. Normally we save the baseboard molding for last, but in this case, we're going to paint right onto it because it's the same color. Continue wrapping right around the room, come to this funny little area over here. Be a lot of cutting, a lot of brush work. That's pretty common to kitchens. It's going to be a lot of small areas around cabinets and, and counters. I'm using the brush, wiggling it a little bit to kind of push the paint into some of these grooves and textured details. The wall's a little funky over here. It's not really a flat surface. It's a textured area. So what I like to do is I like to just kind of push the paint onto the wall and then kind of wiggle the brush like so. You can still cut a straight line with that. Alright, that concludes the cutting in of the walls. Now we're ready to start rolling.